I've been computing for a long time, and over the years, I've gathered quite a few mice. But I love a bargain, and at a recent garage sale, I picked up this old vintage Mac mouse and decided to hack it. This Apple desktop mouse circa 1985 is a true classic, but it came out about 10 years before Bluetooth was invented. So this was a fun challenge. Now this mouse has been used and abused, so I'm gonna clean it up really good using some Goo Gone to get all the smudges and marks off. When it's clean to my liking, I'm gonna remove the little plastic dial and drop that roller ball out from the bottom of the mouse. You know, maybe Domino will like to play with this. Who knows? Then it was time to get inside this vintage mouse. I removed the four screws and both halves of the housing popped apart. After a little bit of convincing, I was able to get the main board out of the mouse. Now with just about every project that I do when I take something old apart, I like to salvage what's left. In this case, there was a bunch of LEDs, red ones and white ones, a spring, and that doesn't even include all of the components that are on this board that I could use for a future project. Now I'll be sacrificing this cheapy Bluetooth mouse. I think this thing was under 10 bucks when I bought it. The battery access is under the cover, which is just held on by a couple of magnets. So I'll pop that off and then begin removing the three screws to get this baby open. I want a couple of more things to salvage, these two strong neodymium magnets inside the housing. I'm keeping these. First off, we'll be popping off this scroll wheel because we're not gonna be using that. And I'm gonna need to relocate the lens for the laser so it tracks correctly. This is the lens that was inside the housing of our Bluetooth mouse. And it's gonna go right here over the laser. So using some hot glue, I'll secure the lens to the laser. I'll make sure it's positioned correctly and then hold it in place and let that glue dry. Now this board is slightly larger than the original Apple board, so I'm gonna need to use my Dremel along this edge and slice off a little bit so it'll fit inside the housing. Okay, once that's done, it's time to get to the Apple Mouse housing because that needs some modifications as well. There are some plastic pieces inside that hold the original motherboard in place and those need to be cut off, so I'll use my Dremel to do that. Now remember that plastic dial we removed to get to the mouse ball? Well, that has to be modified as well to make room for the laser. My Dremel comes into use one more time to cut that opening out. Here's what the finished plastic dial looks like and here's what it looks like back in the housing. Okay, it's time to put everything back together and that means the motherboard has to go in place Make sure that that laser is shining through our hole. And I'll use some hot glue and secure that board. Again, I had to make sure it's lined up and I held it in place till the hot glue dried. Our AA battery is in place and our mouse is fired up. The last step is to close up the housing with the top piece and our vintage Bluetooth mouse has been hacked. I closed up the housing by adding the original screws and our last piece of this puzzle is the Bluetooth mouse receiver which will get plugged into our computer. Now keep in mind this Apple mouse only has one button, which will be the left click on our mouse. But there's software you can get that'll allow you to right click as well. There's a link for that in the description in case you try this project. So that's how to hack a vintage mouse and make it wireless. Making these projects for you keeps me very busy, but when I'm at the gym or traveling, I like to be entertained by Audible. The latest audiobook I'm listening to is Amy Schumer, The Girl with the Lower Back Tattoo. She's hilarious. Audible has an unmatched selection of audiobooks, audio shows, news, comedy, and more. Audible carries titles from just about every category you could think of. And with Audible, you own your books and can listen to them anytime, anywhere with the free app for your smartphone, Amazon device, tablet, or computer. It's easy to get started. Try Audible, start with a free book courtesy of me, Kip K, get the free app and enjoy all the great membership benefits. So get your free audiobook right now by going to audible.com slash Kip K. Now, when you do that, not only do you get a free audiobook, but you're helping me make more videos for you. That's audible.com slash Kip K. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.